Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Listen, just like uh, when you have the flu, uh, there come symptoms. And just like if you uh, you break a bone, how do they know you break a bone? There's there's things to show that you break, you know, broke a bone. It's the same way uh, with the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit has came or, or has come in your life, it comes with a symptom called power. Listen to me. And this power allows you to be able to overcome uh, things that you normally wouldn't be able to overcome like bitterness, unforgiveness, strife, uh, whatever it may be that's against God's word. So the Holy Spirit gives you power to overcome anything that is contrary to the word of God. And Acts, uh, Jesus told him, he says, listen, wait here in Jerusalem uh, until the promise come. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, what, what, what says you're going to receive what power? A lot of us don't realize um, um, we're living a life without power. Just going to church doesn't mean that you have the Holy Ghost. Um, the Holy Ghost comes when you are obedient. It is free, but the Lord says, listen, um, a vessel that is obedient will be, watch this, endowed with power. What a mighty God we serve. If somebody got hit by a Mack truck, you would know, right? There's 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 uh there's things that will show that they got hit by a Mack truck. Well, some of us are saying that we have been born again, and if we truly have been born again, uh, it will show. Remember, stay in the will of God until He gives you power to overcome what's contrary to His word. Listen, God's will will always be done, but the question is, will it be done through you? Love you and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.